I'm going to show you how to achieve greater and easier customization for your strategy builder trading bot on NinjaTrader using the Predator X order entry. If you've used Strategy Builder on NinjaTrader before, you know it's a great tool for starting out, especially if you've never coded before. You can easily customize your entry conditions based on pretty much any indicator out there. And you can do all of this without ever needing to learn how to code. That and it's also a free feature that comes with NinjaTrader. Now, one of the drawdowns of Strategy Builder is when it comes to the order management side of things. And I see this a lot, I get this asked quite a bit, is how limited you are when it comes to your profit and stop orders. For example, when you set a profit or a stop order, you're not going to be able to move them around freely. The orders are going to be stuck exactly where you set them. And yes, you are able to set a trail stop, but again, you are limited in the ways you can trail and you still won't have any control of your stop as the trail is moving up. Now, I do have more videos on how to customize your orders and give you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to Strategy Builder, but it does take quite a bit more work and you're still going to be a bit limited. And on top of everything else, if you want to add things like a time filter, PNL limit, kill switch, multiple targets, things like that, all of these can be a little bit daunting once you start trying to add everything together into one strategy. So this is where the Predator X order entry comes into play. And this is just one of its many, many features. But in today's video, we're going to go over the Predator signal system and how we can use it to read certain NinjaTrader draw objects. And these include things like arrows and text, which are the most popular draw objects. But these will allow us to take advantage of the Predator's order management system while still maintaining our original entry conditions from our own strategy. Now, what do we need to make this work? The first thing that we need is a draw object, like a arrow or a text, with the following code, tag plus current bar. If it has this code, then it's a very likely chance that the predator can read it. And these signals can come from a third party indicator, or like we're doing in this video, from a different strategy as well. So all we're trying to do is basically we're going to replace our main entry order with one of these signals. And instead of having our original strategy take the trade, we're going to instead send a signal and let the predator take the trade instead. So let's go over how to set that up. It is very easy. So to get started, we're just going to load up a strategy here. And this will work best if you're using on bar close as your calculate method. It's also going to work with on price change or on each tick. It's just on bar close makes it a little bit easier to manage. And it's also going to help us print less signals. So if possible, try and use on bar close. So I'm just going to load the strategy up on the chart so we can see it. And then we can see the difference between just the strategy and then what the predator can do. So all this one is, it's just the basic RSI crosses a line while the ADX is above 25. Nothing crazy. I'm not suggesting trading like this whatsoever. This is just something I put together for the video. Again, this will be your own strategy. I'm just showing an example. So I just loaded the strategy. And as you can see, we are entering trades. So it is entering trades. It's a functioning strategy. When the RSI crosses above or below the upper or lower lines and the ADX is above 25. So again, this could be anything. And I'm just going to play it and see an actual order entry with a strategy builder strategy. Order submitted. All right, so here we entered into a trade and just so we can see when we enter using the stop and profit target page, we can move our stop and our profit, but that's only going to last for one bar. As soon as this bar closes, let me speed this up just a little bit. So it's a five minute candle. So here, as soon as the bar closes, it's just going to move everything right back to where it was originally set. This is going to be a pain if you're trying to manually manage your profit and your stop. 
as the strategy progresses. So the idea here is instead of entering using the strategy builder stop and profit target, we're just going to simply replace our entry order with some sort of a text or an arrow. And then we're going to use the predator to pick up on that signal. And then we can easily customize our orders however we want. And then we can actually manage them as our strategy is progressing. So let me show you how to do that really quick here. We're just going to go to our conditions and actions page. Let's start off with set number one. And I'm going to delete our enter long option. And I'm going to the add button, drawing. And for this one, because we're entering long, I want an arrow up. Now, this is very important. We have to make sure our tag is set up correctly so that the predator can read it. So go to set. For the string zero, this can be whatever you want. This is what's actually going to be typed into the predator. So I suggest something easy to remember, like long entry. Now string one, I'm just going to replace this with misc current bar. Hit okay. Once you have both of these, hit okay. And you have the code that the predator can read. Now we just need to set up the Y axis. Again, this is very important. I see a lot of users sending support requests where they set up their strategy, but they can't see any arrows. That is because the Y axis is setting all of your arrows at zero. So you won't be able to see them. So what I like to do, just keep it simple, go to price and select the low of the current candle. Once you have this, whenever it detects a long condition, it's going to set a up arrow at the bottom of your candle. Now we just have to do the same, but for the short side. So set number two, I'm just going to delete the enter short, going to add drawing. And because this is a short entry, I want an arrow going down. So arrow down, and we're doing the exact same thing for the string zero. I'm just going to call it short entry. And we also need the current bar code for this one as well. So misc current bar, hit OK, OK. And again, for the Y axis, do not set it at zero. You can set it price. And I'm going to set this one at the high of the current candle. All right, once we have that, that is all that we need. And now we have functioning signals that the predator can read. So just hit compile. All right, once that's all set up, I'm going to close this strategy. I am going to go back in time and just so we can replay this exact scenario. So I think this was around 2.30. That should be good enough. Now, when we hit enable, we're going to see our same conditions, RSI, ADX, and let's just scroll back to the previous trades. So here we see a down arrow. Here we see a couple up arrows indicating a long condition, down arrow. So everything seems to be matching up and working. Now, before we load the predator, we have to go over the tags that we're going to type into the predator. This brings up again, a lot of support requests. I always suggest never rely on somebody else's template. Every tag just expect it to be different. It doesn't matter what indicator you're using. You always have to make sure you check the tags yourself. Now for this to work with the predator, like I said, we need a tag plus current bar. Now this goes for any indicator, any strategy you're using out there. How we can tell if it's using the current barcode is usually when we double click on any signal, if you see numbers going up. Now the numbers should be spaced apart like you see them here, where it's seemingly random numbers. If you see something like short entry one, short entry two, short entry three, so on so forth. That usually means it's coded a different way where it's not using current bars. For now, we're not going to be able to use those specific signals. So we must make sure it's using a current bar code. Now for the actual predator, what we need to type in is anything before that current bar number. So that includes any spaces that might be 
between the tag and the number that is also included in the tag. So for this example, we're going to type in short entry with a space because there's a space between the last character and the number. So short entry with a space. The long entry, again, we're typing long entry and we're including the space at the end. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Just know if you do not see a space at the end, you do not type in that space. And again, I'm going to show you how to make sure we type it in correctly. So once we verify our tags, let's go into the predator. So right click on the chart, go to strategies, go to the predator, whether you're using the free trial or you're a lifetime member using the LT version, this will work exactly the same. So for this example, you just go down to the O2B auto entries, hit the custom signals checkbox right here and it's going to reveal your entry signal options. For this example, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just doing an entry signal. So let's click on that. And here we can type in our tag. So for the long signal entry, that was long entry. And then remember the space between the last character and the current bar. This one had it. So we type in a space. For our short entry, we had that space at the end. We just hit the space bar and include that space. So that's all that we need. And we also have extra options in the case your tags are the same, which if you're using Builder, I suggest doing a different tag between the long and the short. But if they are the same, you can just click on that select the color identifier but if they're different don't use this you don't need it you also have an option to wait until the break of the candle so for example if you're going long it's going to wait until it breaks above the previous bars high if you're going short it's going to wait until it breaks below the previous bars low so that's all it is just a little bit of extra confirmation otherwise when it's off it's going to enter as soon as it detects that signal. The bars that go entry is just the bar that is looking for that signal. I'd say for 99% of strategies, leave this at one. All it means is it's looking at one candle back to detect the signal. If you increase this to, let's say three, it's going to mean it's looking at three candles back for that signal. I see a lot of people changing it to zero. This is reserved for only those indicators that print the signal while the bar is still forming. If you're using on bar close for your strategy, this is going to prevent a trade from taking place. This must remain at one. So again, for those starting out and for 99% of signals, leave this at one. Otherwise, you're good to go. Let's set up our order. Here we can choose to set the stop at the high or the low or an ATR stop is very popular. We can do that as well. So just a two times ATR. You can select a custom quantity or an automatic quantity based between your entry and your stop price. This is going to automatically calculate the correct position size. So you only lose around the defined risk per trade. So I'll leave that at 250, that's fine. And here you can set up multiple profit targets. So if you want to set one based on ticks or ATR, again, very popular. You can do that as well. So we're just going to set up a couple profit targets. So ATR, and we're going to increase these each time by a little bit. And a final third profit target. And if you wanna set up any break evens or trail stops, anything like that, you can set those up using any of these options. I'm not gonna go too much into detail here. There's a lot of videos that go over all of the order management. I wanna try and keep this video as simple and to the point as possible. So I'm just going to set up three profit targets and you can also come down here to the additional filters. And this is where you can set up your time filters, kill switch, profit loss limits, uh, trades per direction, things like that to customize your strategy to exactly how you want it to be. Anything in there, it's going to take into account. So for example, if I only want to trade between 
8 a.m., 4.45 p.m., we can set that right there. Perfect. Once we have all of that, let's just hit OK, and we are going to enable the strategy. All right, now we have the Predator loaded. Let's take a look at the upper left-hand corner. We're going to see our long entry. Remember that space at the end because our signals had the space. And when everything is red, everything is working properly, you're going to see a little check mark here. And you will see that for both the long and the short entry orders. If for whatever reason, we type something in that's not right. So for example, we forget the space or have an uppercase when we should have a lowercase or something doesn't match 100%. Let's just enable that just so we can see the difference. So when we load that up, you're going to see if it's correct, you get a check mark. If something is off, you're going to see this hourglass. The hourglass usually means it's either not detecting the signal or in most cases, there is something wrong with the tag. So here we can see we have the uppercase Y, we're missing the space. It's not matched up 100% to our signal tag it's going to give you an error. Just make sure if you see that hourglass, there's likely something wrong. Just revisit the tag, double check everything, make sure you type it in 100% how it's supposed to be. So let me just fix that. And we'll hit apply again. And now it should turn into a check mark. So we have that, we should be good to go. Let's just hit play. And we are just waiting for the red arrow. Order All right, so here, let me zoom in a little bit so we can see it a little bit easier. And I'll move these down. So here, once our entry conditions were true, we got our red arrow. And that is the same red arrow we defined in here. The predator picked up on that signal and entered based on our order management conditions. So now we have the option to move all of these around. If we want, we can even set our targets to break even. Got stopped out there, that's okay. But we can move them around, trail them, and customize our strategy exactly how we want it to. So let me just keep playing this and see if we get a few more signals and then we'll cut the video. All right, so here we got another short entry condition. Again, red arrow, the predator picked up on that condition and it entered based on our order management. So I'm just going to move these around and just wait for a new bar so we can see it's not going to move back to where it was. So here we're getting multiple new bars. Again, you can customize this however you want. If you want to add on to your position, you can do that with the add buttons. Again, the Predator offers a lot more customization than you would with just a strategy builder. So that's how we can take our strategy builder strategy and use the predator to increase all of our customization. And obviously guys, every strategy is different. You might have to play around with it a little bit, but I hope this video serves as a general guide on how you can convert your strategy to be used with the predator. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, feel free to reach out to support at tradesaber.com or join us on Discord. I'm usually around anyways. I try and answer as many questions as possible, but I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, take care, enjoy.